ചൈന <laughs> one is a retrospective study and other is a prospective study which studies almost 1500 patients each they they have found that uh, patients who had covid 19 almost 20 to 30 percentage had history of cancer and of this almost 50 percentage had active cancers this and uh, more than this when patients with asymptomatic covid when they get operated without proper screening many of them do tend to develop the covid symptoms and full blown disease probably during third and fourth post operative day and that's when the whole patient is also you know compromised patients having a uh, infection all over the bow issues that he has and they also found that the mortality rate in cancer patients almost 25% so they too uh, multiple factors are involved but uh, most of the studies have proven that cancer patients are at a higher risk than the general community those are statistically significant figures when compared to mortality in general population and those with active cancers or even those with who have a history of cancer many of them found that the history of cancer who had this cancer history in the past they tended to have lot of hospital visits as other speakers have clearly pointed out teleconsult will be the best way to at least reduce the risk for cancer only for especially for those who are coming for routine follow so these people can avoid going out at least for the time being if they don't have any symptoms we have certain uh, performers which we are uh, sending off to patients so they can see if they are uh, symptom free from the disease so they don't have to come unless until they have to have a yearly imaging or some form of those things that we done even that we are trying to get in touch with the local imaging center if they are of quite good quality we are trying to get it done and send it through a fax system or on a drive system so that we can go through it for those who patients who are newly detected uh, we'll have to take all precautionary measures and we also have to inform them that not only they are uh, covid prone but they can get covid from other patients also other patients other staff other uh, patient attenders all that also needs to be explained because many a times what happens is at least uh, there have been few incidences in the country where patients and patient attenders have uh, treated problems because they think that they have got the covid from the hospital so they should also be clearly explain the risk that is being involved and especially at least in the government setup it's little, going to be a little difficult in the private setup it's quite easy for them for us to explain to them what they are going through if they also agree to it then we go ahead with the 